Hello and welcome to Jess and Julie's second official podcast. This week we are going to be talking about the foundation Tree People. We volunteered with Tree People, um, so we're going to be telling you about that. Yep, it's a, another free thing to do in LA. As you know, anytime you volunteer, it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a wonderful organization. They're pretty awesome. They're based out in um, the Valley, but we actually went to Inglewood to yes, a school, and it turned out to be a fair, which I wasn't expecting. No, I thought it was there just was gonna... really cool music there. Well, it was like kind of like... Psychedelic music, yeah. which I thought was inappropriate, but... Julie apparently thinks it was really cool. I just, I don't know that I thought it was appropriate or inappropriate. It was unexpected. Yes. And I was unexpected like, Unexpected okay, is a good right, way to. I could get down. At, you know, 10, 10 a.m. on a yeah. Saturday morning, <laughs> you hear like weird, trippy, like drug induced music. But it was well played. Oh, yeah, they it were great very musicians. Well they might have been high while they were doing it. Probably. Yeah, and the what Laker, else do you do at the Lakers Center? girls were also there. Mm -hmm, She's also a treat for a lot of people. I, neither one of us cared, but there are a lot of people who are like, we've got to get pictures with these Lakers girls and all yeah, this stuff. And they were all high schoolers. It was all the high school. There was a high school. I'm like looking at the computer as though I'm talking to somebody. Um, there was a high school. Um, do you remember what high school it was called? No. Something with the environment, I feel like. Yeah, they have, like, a special environment program. Um, there were a lot of high school kids there volunteering um, as part of their class program. And so they were put into groups, and they were going to have to make a project out of it. Um, so the majority of mine and Jessica's work was done with two high school kids who were very nice, very mm -hmm. polite. Do you remember their, their names? Work. Andrew and... I feel like you made that up. No, I didn't. Really? I You're didn't. You're like, my boyfriend's name is Andrew, and so, <laughs> and so I remembered Andrew it. Andrew <laughs> and Julie. It was, it was Julie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. what it was. No, I don't. It was like, wow, that's going to bother me. I want to say Dana, but it wasn't Dana. I don't remember their names at all, but I'm terrible with names. Dana, Denise... Think I don't about know. it. I was going to complain about her, so maybe it's good we don't know her name. Yeah. <laughs> Just in the off chance that she might be listening. Just in the, I was thinking about that while we were working. I was like, should I say this about her or should I just let it go? What if we get super famous? And I mean, we're, I mean we are super yeah, famous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, real quick though, let's say what Tree People is about. Yes. Tree People is an is an environmental nonprofit that unites the power of trees, people, and nature-based solutions to grow a sustainable future for Los Angeles. Simply put. Our work is about helping nature nature heal our cities. I was about to be like, wow, that was really solid reading. And then, <laughs> and then I just mocked <laughs> at the end. It was, exactly. It was, like, I think it was my fault. Has she ever that. read before in her life? It's hard to tell. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a really cool organization. I think both Julie and I had been wanting to volunteer with them for a while. Mm -hmm. I certainly, I often, since I live on the west side and travel to the valley a lot, I often drive um, through Beverly to Coldwater Canyon, and I always see the signs for tree people. And I'm like, tree people, what is that about? And now we Does, know. Now we know. We know what they're about. Um, the directors of our specific, they have, okay, so the way that tree people is set up, they have, um, you can see their calendar by month of events. And so they will have um, events Ours was fruit tree distribution. Mm -hmm. That's the one that I was most excited to do. Um, but they also have fruit tree prep. Mm. That was a, a separate one. And then they have um, park restoration, I think was what, something like that. Yeah. I don't think that's what it's called. But um, And then they had something with a parking lot, like pulling weeds out of a parking lot or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, they have all different programs and you can also just go directly to their site and I think just do work at the site. Is that treepeople.org? We'll mm -hmm. put it in the we'll put it, it is treepeople.org, you're right. Okay. Um, now why were you so excited about the fruit tree distribution? It really is just because they gave a little description below mm -hmm. each title of the event and 
that one just sounded like it would be the most fun. And there were some that specifically said this is very labor intensive. So I was oh, like, okay, okay, count me out of that one. Yeah. Well, I I just liked the idea of distributing fruit trees to low income areas because going to USC, the grocery stores around the USC campus at the time that I went to school were absolutely terrible. Actually, a friend of mine was in a class. I don't remember the name of the class, but the professor in that class said that often nice grocery stores in nice areas will take the produce that they no longer want to sell and bring it to low income areas. And that's the produce that they sell in those grocery stores. And we, there was a one market, it was called the 32nd street market, but we used to always call it the dirty 32 because it was one of the most disgusting markets I've ever supermarkets I've ever been in. And I would often drive to like third street and La Brea to the Trader Joe's and mm -hmm. Ralph's that was over there. And there's a Whole Foods down it's the street, far, isn't it? far from USC, but I would drive all the way over there to go to a nice grocery store because there was... Was there a nice grocery store? Not at the time. Now, the USC campus, like, they're going to get a Trader Joe's. There's a Fresh and Easy right over there. And then now downtown, since downtown is more up and coming, they have, like, Trader Joe's over there and nicer Ralph's. But at the time, there was not... Trust me, we, me and my friends, would drive all over looking for oh better ones. But that's the thing. Like, in low-income areas, that makes it really sad is they don't have really fresh produce and produce can also be to get really good produce and organic produce for sure is very expensive mm -hmm. and so when people are like well people in low income areas aren't interested in eating healthy that's not true they it's just, just they don't, don't have the means right. to eat healthy so i think this is a really nice program to allow people to plant trees fruit mm -hmm. trees in their own backyards and at least get some fresh produce and they were right all there. donated, right? Yeah. Like, the people were not paying for these No, not at all. You, the only thing you had to do was sign up, um, and you had to take a course. I think it was like five, ten minutes about yeah. just how to plant it, how to care for it, make sure, you know, you don't take this tree home and it just dies on the spot. Um, and then I think they said, I heard somebody say that you had to give your address also. Oh, really? And be approved, but I don't. I don't know how that. I can't really speak to that because I don't know exactly how that works. Um, I really wanted to take a tree home. I know. I wanted to like, sign up. And well, take because a class. you actually have somewhat of a yard. Mm -hmm. I would have loved to as well, but I don't have any um, any yard, and I and don't. Right on the sidewalk. Right on the sidewalk yep. on my patio, <laughs> and I have a brown thumb, as I like to call it, because Eric and I can't keep anything alive on that. I don't even try. Yeah, I feel sad. like Andy is probably good at growing things because he does stuff like that. Okay. Um, I'm not. I have trouble keeping like flowers alive and like. Yeah, we I just planted some flowers in July and both like we even put some hanging from our balcony in the back. Oh, go and on. it didn't work. It did for a few months, and then I don't know if it's just since it's the winter. It's just no, but. Mm. Um, I have these one plants that were there when I, um, moved into the place. Those somehow are still alive and kicking. Are they fake? No, they're not fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> um, but, like, two summers ago, he tried to plant, um, vegetables. No, those never came. And then this past summer, we did mint, different mint leaves. Oh, We had that's delicious fine. mojitos <gasps> a couple weekends in a row. No. And we sprayed, we got like non-pesticide, I don't know what it's called, mm -hmm. spray. Okay. Um, but no, these bugs just attack them. And we don't get enough sun. It's really kind of sad. Mm. So anyways, I digress. But that makes um, no difference. I think even if I took a fruit tree home, I would be very concerned that it was thriving before and then now it would die. One of the things that I found really interesting about, because... Um, we, as volunteers, got a little presentation beforehand because um, we there were two stations. There was a pruning station, and then there was a wrapping station. In the pruning station, you took you had to wear gloves. You took pruning shears, and it was really interesting because to me, uh, like I said, I don't know anything about you know gardening or growing things or keeping plants alive, um, but these just looked like branches. 
with yeah, like, like they did. tiny skinny little branches mm-hmm. with like more skinny little branches growing. And so to me, like some of them looked dead. Like they were attached to roots, so I, you know, could logically figure that they weren't dead. <laughs> but like they just looked like nothing to me and it was pretty cool to look at trees in a different way. Yeah, like something yeah. that had no substance that will grow into a large tree that bears fruit. Yeah. And it was really cool because uh, Jessica, not this Jessica, there was a Jessica who was running the session, (laughs) uh, the volunteer session, she was telling us that in order to prune, you had to go, there was, you know, run your finger up and there's like a little cuticle, like nub type thing that the branch comes out of and you can see, um, maybe I'll find a picture of an example and put it in, like over this. Um, but you had to, you couldn't cut the nub off so that it was flush to the main branch. Right. You had to cut right outside of it. And that's where the branch would regrow. And you couldn't leave those branches on because then the tree would have trouble in its new environment because she said specifically, which I thought was the most interesting, those trees had grown in their old environment oh, based on, yeah. like, the way the sun was hitting them and the soil there. And so it was cool to learn that trees will grow differently depending on the environments that they're in. And I just never thought about that, ever yeah. at all. So I thought that was very interesting. It was. I like that, too. And, you know, it's sad to say, but we really do often... We take trees for granted, I feel yeah. like. Uh, just the other day... Eric and I were walking by our place, and there's a few trees in our area that um, the roots are getting so big that the sidewalk's coming yeah. up. And he even mentioned that, and I was like, whoa, look at this tree. Like, I'd never noticed this one tree. And he was like, oh, when my dad was here a couple years ago, he noticed that tree. And he was saying something about how when they planted that, they should have not, like, they should have known that the roots for that tree grow out. You can't see what I'm doing, but, like... (laughs) Side to side. Side to side, thank you. (laughs) And maybe they should have planted a tree that didn't have roots that were going to grow that big. Mm -hmm. But um, just how interesting trees can be and the environments they create. It really is. And honestly, like, L.A., I, I love what the tree people stand for. And I feel like L.A. does a good job, even though it's a major city and... Parts of it, you know, they call LA the concrete jungle, and Mm -hmm. especially when you fly in, you can see it's just concrete for miles, but I still Mm -hmm. feel like this city does a pretty good job of uh, having different species of trees, and you know, most certainly palm trees, but Mm -hmm. there's all different types of trees everywhere. There are. There, I see, when I do pay attention or care to, you know, look around, I do see a bunch of different trees. Like different yeah. types of trees, and I think that's very interesting because you, you don't really think about it. You're Mm-mm. right. Um, so they had the pruning station. We started working at uh, and continued for our entire time there, working at the wrapping station. Yes. So we had a big rectangular bucket of water on you know just like your typical folding table. Um, And then you had to take about five sheets of newspaper, lay them out, and then dip your hands in the water, like cup your hands together, and spread water, all like wet the newspaper so that it was pretty wet. Um, Then you would lay the tree in, like, the tree roots onto the newspaper and wrap the newspaper around the roots, then pick the entire package up and soak the roots and the newspaper in... Am I explaining this properly? Yeah, you're doing great. Soak it in the bucket of water that you had, just so that the newspaper could hold as much water as possible um, to keep the roots nourished. And then you'd put that into a plastic garbage bag, tie that up, and go put it, like if that was a peach tree, it had a little tag that said white peaches. And if it was if it was an apple tree, it had a little tag that said it was an apple tree, and you'd put it in the proper pile. Well, and what I also thought was cool, just to piggyback on what you're saying, is they had, it was five different types of fruit, right? It mm-hmm. was peach, apple, apricot, plum, and nectarine. nectarine. But within each type, there were different species of mm-hmm. that fruit, which I thought was really cool. I wish I would have, could have 
had a list maybe of all the different yeah, types of species they had and what was different about it. There were types that I hadn't even heard of. Yeah, one was called like a donut peach something. Wow, I would love to Which try would that. have been delicious. That's the one that I would have wanted. Yes, yes. Wait 12 years and finally try a donut peach. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Wait, why 12? I would 12, be interested, though? well, because I don't know how long it takes trees to grow. I would have been interested <laughs> to ask somebody um, how ask long, somebody. ask somebody, how long it takes for those trees yeah. to sprout fruit. I know. We That's should've... a missed opportunity. We had a lot of missed opportunities with things we could have asked. In fact, Julie wanted to ask a question during the, like, introduction oh, session. And yeah. she was totally just bypassed. Just looked right over. <laughs> she asked... Like, anyone? It's anyone? I was anyone? polite enough to raise my hand. No, you gotta just jump in there. I know. When you got a question, so you just... It was just... right by the airport, and so I was like, I need somebody to be looking at me. Because the most embarrassing thing, I think, is to when somebody says, does anyone have questions? And you go, um, well, and start yelling your question, and they don't hear you. <laughs> But the people standing around you hear everything you're saying, and, and then, then you're you never, like, and you never, <laughs> you just got shut say, down. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then you never like bring it back. Right, cause exactly, because like, oh, it's okay. embarrassing. Yeah. Um, but no, she asked if anybody had questions, and I raised my hand, and then someone from the left side of the group just yelled her question out. To the left, to the left. Mm, mm. So she got her question answered. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what song that was? I do, and I just... What was, was I supposed it? to just keep singing it? <laughs> yeah. What song was Everything it, though? You owe okay. Because it. also, earlier this evening, though, I learned that Julie doesn't know the TLC song Red Light Special. And this may be our last podcast, because I'm still very <laughs> upset about that. But I feel like Jessica showed me the video before. Well, then you should know. Yeah, then I should know. I didn't know this song was on the radio. I was like, I'm a radio TLC fan, and she got very mad because... Their second single off the Crazy Sexy Cool album. <laughs> Which I own, by the way. Well, I don't know if you do. There's no excuse. No excuse. Anyways. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> That's a rift in our friendship now. <laughs> <laughs> a wedge. A wedge. <laughs> That's a door. A locked door. <laughs> um, someone has the key. <laughs> so... I think that this is a great foundation. I think this was a great volunteer opportunity. Yeah, I, I think if you're looking for something to volunteer in, this is definitely. I mean, it was work. It was work, and yeah, I was tired waist, after it. I was too. Yeah, from my waist down, <laughs> I was soaking wet. Like the, and it's because the table came like to where my waist was. And so, you know, like I said, there was a lot of water going everywhere. And, yeah. like, you had to be fast. Like, because we started, and I thought we were moving at an okay pace. Until that but, woman came over. Yeah, and I didn't like, even see I that. I mean, we're bringing over a lot of trees. We're yeah, she said something like, we're counting your trash on you. Can or, I was like, excuse you. She was a volunteer also. It's yeah. not like she was running it and had, you know, any... Yeah. Authority to say anything. I don't no, know. She just made it face. seem like we were going slowly. Yeah. So then I was like, well, okay, let's go fast. And we finished like eons before anyone else did. Right. Like our buckets were empty. We killed it. Yeah. Just High five. Up, killed it. Killing it. Hell yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Wrapping up trees. Wrap it up trees. <laughs> <laughs> we do as we please. Yeah. Wow. You should be a rapper. I am. I'd piggyback on that, but I can't think of anything. Oh. Oh, man. Um, so the water was getting everywhere. I mean, I'm talking like you'd cup both of your hands in the water and just throw it at the newspaper. Yeah. Like, that's what I was doing. I felt bad. I kept splashing the high school girl who was across from me doing the same thing. So, okay, so the guy, the high school guy, he was pulling the trees out of buckets because they would let the trees sit with their roots in, like, big, big, like, garbage cans of water. Mm -hmm. Um, and so he would pull one of the trees out and hand it to us once we were done, like, laying the paper and, like, you know, getting it all soaked in with water. And then we'd wrap, me and the high school girl would wrap the tree, and then I would take the tree and dunk it, and then Jessica would be waiting with a garbage bag, and she would tie it up and go put it in the proper pile. So we had a nice little assembly line Yeah, going. yeah, we really did. But so the water eventually, like, just got everywhere. 
and it just was dripping off of the sides of the table. And so when I would splash it onto the paper, it would just like fall onto my legs. So my legs were getting wet. Uh, my pants were like soaked through. My shoes were soaked. Like mm -hmm. I mean, I was sloshing. Like they're on my front porch right now drying, and I do not leave shoes on the porch. But they are soaking wet. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest wearing proper footwear, possibly yes. rain boots. <laughs> people maybe. in the pruning section didn't have to worry about that. Yeah, so um, maybe volunteer for that. But I actually. I didn't want to prune, so I was fine. Oh, I wanted to prune I so badly. I, like, I almost want to do it again, just so I can go can and, like, be in the again. pruning section. They're having another one in Watts, so that should be safe. Where's Watts? Is that a joke? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've never heard of Watts. What? Yeah, where is it? Watts. What? It... <laughs> what? <laughs> Watts. It, there's a Watts Tower, and, um, it will... Please don't hold me to this, everyone, but in the late 60s, maybe even 1968, there was a huge riot in Watts. Um, but Watts is just not known for being a nice area. And have you I've, told me about this I have, before? yeah, because okay. I think you were looking on a list of, like, interesting things in L.A. I think I, and yeah. Was like, I, the Watts Tower, work, and right? I was like, the Watts Tower? <laughs> one time, my freshman year at SC, me and my best friend were just driving around, and then one day we were like, we're in Watts. <gasps> Lock the door. <gasps> Gotta get out of here. But, and I apologize, anyone. I haven't been to Watts since then, probably. So it could be a perfectly lovely place now. Um, maybe it's been uh, renovated and changed. And maybe. they were saying that they do it at the farmer's market. So, oh, you know, maybe. That might be so nice I apologize if you. Watts is now a great place to be. But it's yeah. known for being a dangerous place. Okay. And a not very nice place. Well, that's um, good to know, whoever doesn't know that. Now yeah. you do. Now you do. If you don't know, now, now you, you know. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they're doing another fruit tree distribution there as well. Um, I, re I had a lot of fun. I did too. And it went by really fast. We were there for probably uh, almost like two and a half hours. Um, One thing I will say. Okay. It is a volunteer opportunity. So... You have no control over who you're working with. Yes. So be prepared for that. Um, like, I, I came not wanting to work with Julie. Yeah, and then That's I so was funny. Like, I didn't want to work with you either. Yeah, and then we got shoot. stuck at the same table. Yeah. Because we chose the same table. And yeah. like, well, this sucks now. Yeah. We're in a horrible time. <laughs> I put kidding. headphones in, so you were talking about it. You know, like, you're <laughs> saying. She, that's funny. She was responding, but, mm -hmm. you know. Just with yes. <laughs> That's why I was so happy. Mm -hmm. um, everybody here was so nice. We lucked out. There were a few tiny little things that I was like, oh, I could do without this. I got like very, very mildly annoyed with the high school girl that was mm -hmm. at our table because every once in a while she would, and they said, you know, you need at least five sheets of newspaper because the water would make it like kind of meld together as like one thick sheet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And anything less than that, if you wrapped it around, like, a thick, sturdy root, because some of the roots were, like, very bendable um, and very thin mm -hmm. and, like, hair-like almost. And then there were some roots that were, like, branches. And so if you wrapped anything less than five sheets of newspaper around that, it would just poke right through. Yeah. Because it's wet paper. There's no, su like, substance to it or, like, strength. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes she would, you know, lay papers out that were like okay so like if you're holding a newspaper and you open it wide I consider that like two panels mm -hmm. she would lay them out so it was like four panels across and I'd be like what kind of roots do you think we're gonna wrap but then she would only do that sometimes like she would switch off That's for weird. like no apparent reason and so sometimes I'd come and there were two panels and I'd like wet those after I handed you the wrapped tree and then sometimes I would go to wet things and it would be like two panels, but then she wouldn't, like, layer them properly, so the panels that were on the outside, like, the far left and the far right, were only, like, two sheets thick, and I was like, this is useless. Like, it was just so kind she, of irritating. Yeah, she didn't use her head. No rhyme or reason. Yeah. I don't understand. And they actually, I guess I was only irritated because they had to go through a training at their high school. Oh, so, like, the high school couldn't. actually, like, that's why they couldn't prune, because they had gone through the wrapping training. 
Um, and I'm like, you already trained to do this. You should know that, like, you can't just wrap these roots in yeah. one sheet of newspaper. It's going to rip. And then it kept ripping. And so I just tried to nicely be like, oh, let's, you know, stack more on here so that it doesn't rip through. But it was a very minor thing. Like, it could have been much worse. But I just was like, what are you thinking? Yeah. That's it. And then one of the directors was kind of He rude. was kind of, yeah. He was one of those people who as Julie put earlier to me, um, you know, seems really, like, fun and nice when he's explaining things. Cracking jokes. Yeah. Like, he was performing for the crowd, and it was hilarious. And yeah. Almost like he thought he was, like, a, almost like a comedian? stand-up comic. Yeah. <laughs> but then, one-on-one, -on -one, he was just a jerk. Yeah. What did he say to you about the tag? Yeah, one of the tags was off one of the trees, and so I didn't know what kind of tree it was until I had to, like, dig and find the tag. And it, I don't even remember what kind of tree it ended up being, but it was the like tag a white peach or something, yeah, like a snow plum. Or yeah, something like that. I think it was white peach. And then, but the tag wouldn't stay on anymore. So I asked him, I was like, "Do you have another tag?" And he finds one. But he has to write that one out. And he's like, "Okay, what's the name of it?" And so the names were all very long. It's like, if it was white peach, it was West. Antarctic white peach. I'm making this up, but mm -hmm. West Antarctic white peach, blah, 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 blah. Like, they're all long. And so when I'm saying it to him, he was like, well, I didn't ask for your whole life story. And he was like, oh, okay. okay. Well, I am just reading the You name. were a lot more pleasant yeah. when you were presenting to us. And so. then uh, once he handed me the label, I was like, oh, how do you put these on? He was like, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Are you serious? Yeah. He was a jerk. His name's Danny. Yeah. I'm calling him out by name. So if you do volunteer with the tree people, hopefully Danny won't be there. And if he is Maybe he's hit it big yourself. with his big time his stand up comedy, comedy career. But um, I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one. I'd say poor Danny, but I didn't know that he was such a jerk to you. Screw Danny. No, don't. <laughs> Gross. He didn't have um, nice teeth. I oh, that. I didn't notice that. Mm. Oh poor sorry. Danny. Sorry, Danny. You get a thumbs down. Jessica was great. Jessica was very... Not this Jessica, again. The one who was running the volunteer. <laughs> yeah, she was session. awesome. She, she was really nice. She seemed nice and personable. And everybody else seemed really nice. It was mm -hmm. just... He was a stick in the mud, as you might say. But um, But um, as old people might say. As old people So, uh, would you recommend this? I would definitely recommend this. So two thumbs I, up. Two thumbs up. Yeah. Except for Danny's one thumb down. Yep. But don't let him affect your view of tree people. No, tree people's great. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we like we said, we could use more trees. And I think more people need to know that, like, the environment's important. We can mm -hmm. all do something. This was only two and a half hours out of our day. Um, it makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you, if you want to be narcissistic about it, like, when yeah. you help people and you help the environment, <laughs> that makes you... We did something. Yeah, and you're like, oh, I contributed to the world <laughs> today in some small way. But, um, no, and especially a Los Angeles-based organization, it's nice to know that people do care. Mm -hmm. And um, Very nice. And just, you know, wear rain boots. And wear rain boots. Yeah. yeah. So we'll figure out something fun to do for February. Yes, February, mm -hmm. the month of... Love. Love. Also Black History Month. Oh, let's do something what? about that. What? what, what, what? Did you hear about Suge Knight? Yeah. Okay. That was big news. <laughs> big news this week. Yeah. Is he in jail right now? I think so. Okay, Suge Knight's in jail. Big news. Yeah, you know who's not in jail, though? Who? George Zimmerman. Did he do something else? Yeah, I saw you post it on Facebook, too. No, what? Yeah, he, like, assaulted someone, and then I they... I didn't post anything about George Zimmerman. Yeah, you did. And I they were like, someone put this person in jail. Oh, right? I commented on something. Yeah. I didn't, like, post it of my own accord. Oh, okay. Well, it was That so was weeks ago. It was, like, one or two weeks okay, ago. Okay, but honestly, is anybody surprised he should have gone no, to jail? No, he needs time. to be in jail. He's a terrible human being. He's horrible. It's only a matter of time before he does something else. Hopefully not. It's not a matter of a lot of time. <laughs> Did well, he assault his wife with, like, a machine gun? Yeah, he's Jesus. a terrible person. Uh, so on that note... <laughs> happy, um... Happy tree people Almost day. February. It's, it'll be February in two hours. Oh, wow. And we are going to try very hard to bring something to you every, every month. Every month. Not, so... like, July and January. Every year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It wasn't July, it was September. Oh, okay, that's very different. Yeah. Um, 
Just we'll think of something great for you guys, but two thumbs up for tree people. Yes. Tree people, what, what?